Hello everyone. Welcome back to our English class. Hope you all are safe and fine children. Shall we do the next lesson of our magic please? Yes. Before we start, let's have a warm up session. I'll show you some words which you have to decode. Can you decode these words children? Yes. The first word is camera. The second word yes, collage. Third word yes, photo. Fourth word, yes, memory. The next word, correct, print. And the final one, exactly, album. Now you may wonder why I have written all these words related to photograph. All these words are related to photo, right? Camera, collage, photo, memory, prints, album. All these words are related to photo. Yes, what you guess is right. Today we are going to do the lesson of photograph written by the great writer Ruskin Bond. We all take many photos and selfies nowadays using the mobile, tablets or even the digital camera. But why do we take photos? Yes, to capture our special moments of life, our good moments of life, which later turns out as beautiful memories in our future days. We also share these beautiful memories with our dear ones, right? So in earlier days, unlike now, before the photos were taken using a camera which they had to upload with a film roll and take the prints. After taking the prints, they used to stick it in, a, in an album. Nowadays, it doesn't happen. Only for rare occasions, they take the prints and stick it in an album for a wedding and all, right? So, what if you have found out an old photograph of your grandparent or your parents? If, if it is their childhood photograph, you, you would be very happy and excited to see that, right? You will be very curious to know more about that photograph. So, today we are going to learn a story based on a similar incident in which a child finds an old photograph from his storeroom and he rushes to his grandmother to find out the more details about that photograph. Now this beautiful story is written by the renowned writer Arras Ruskin Bond. Before we start our lesson, let's have a look at the profile of Ruskin Bond. Ruskin Bond is an Indian writer with British origin. It's a top novelist as well. He is considered as an icon among Indian writers and children authors. His major writings are based on the life on the hills and his writing style is very simple and humble, mostly dealing with friendship. Some of his famous works are The Room on the Roof, The Flight of Pigeons, The Blue Umbrella, Our Trees Still Grow in Terra. And this is the novel which he got Sahitya Academy Award in 1992. Other awards that he had got are 
Padma Shri in 1999, Padma Bhushan in 2014. So shall we start children? Now please take page number 72 in your textbook and listen as I read. A photograph. A photograph written by Ruskin Bond. Grandmother sat in a rocking chair under the mango tree. It was late summer and there were sunflowers in the garden and a warm wind in the trees. Grandmother was knitting me a pullover for the winter months. Her hair was white, her eyes were not very strong, but her fingers moved quickly with the needles. Grandmother was old, but there were very few wrinkles on her skin. When she did find time to relax after the day's work, she liked having me beside her and she liked talking about her youth. So the story is beginning with the description of a setting where the story is taking place. The main character is introduced in the very first line. Who is the main character children? Yes, grandmother. Grandmother was sitting in a rocking chair. What do you mean by rocking chair? A chair which is mounted on rockers uh, which, which can move back and forth. So she was relaxing under the mango tree. What was the weather? It was late summer. That means it was a time, transition time between summer and winter. And there were beautiful sunflowers in the garden. And also a warm wind in the trees. You know, after if it is a time after lunch, we'll get a warm breeze, right? Maybe it would be that time. And what grandmother was doing there? Grandmother was knitting me a pullover for the winter months. Who is me here? The narrator. The narrator must be her grandchild, right? So what she was doing? She was knitting a pullover. Pullover means sweater that we use during winter season. So she was knitting a pullover for her grandchild. The description of the grandmother is given here. Her hair was white. We know as we grow old, our hair become very, our hair become white. And her eyes were not very strong. The eyes also become very weak, become very weak as we grow up, right? As we grow old. But still, her fingers moved quickly with the needles. She was very fast in knitting. And even the wrinkles, normally when people grow old, there will be too many wrinkles. Wrinkles means folds on our skin. So there will be too many wrinkles on the skin. But for grandmother, it was comparatively less. Then, just like all our grandparents, she also used to love to spend her time with her grandchild. We all know that our grandparents uh, spend most of the time with their grandchildren, right? They sit with us, they share their stories, they recall their childhood experiences. They do all things to their grandchildren to express their love and care, right? So just like that, our grandmother, the grandmother in the story, she also used to spend her time with her grandchild by telling her, by telling the experiences uh, or uh, beautiful memories of her youth and uh, sharing other stories as well. One afternoon after lunch, I was rummaging in a box of old books and family heirlooms that I had found in the box room. I was going through a book on butterflies when I found a small photograph in between the pages. It was a faded picture a little yellow and foggy, a picture of a girl standing against a wall and from the other side of the wall, a pair of hands reached up as though someone were about to climb over it. There were flowers growing near the girl, but I could not tell what they were. 
So one afternoon after the lunch, the boy, the narrator or the grandchild of this grandmother, he was rummaging in a box of old books. Rummaging means carelessly searching for something. For example, when you are when you are in hurry to go to school and you want to get a notebook which is not seen, you will carelessly search for that thing, right? So for that we say as rummaging. So he was rummaging in a box of old books and family heirlooms. Heirlooms means family heirlooms means the valuable objects which are passed from generation to generation. So all these things, uh, all these fam family heirlooms were kept in the box room. Box, box room means storeroom. So he was carelessly searching in the storeroom which had all these family heirlooms and old books. While he was searching, he got a book about butterflies and while, when he was going through that book, he got a small photograph in between the pages. Now this is the photograph which is mentioned here. The description of the photograph is, uh, is given. It was a faded picture. Faded picture means it was very less bright in color because it's an old photo. A little yellow and foggy. Foggy means not clear. It was not clear what is there in the picture. But he was able to see a picture of a girl standing against a wall. You can see the picture of a girl standing against the wall. And from the other side of the wall, a pair of hands reached up as though someone were about to climb over it. You can see a pair of hands over there, right? So he could see a pair of hands over the wall as if someone were about to climb that wall. There were also flowers growing near the girl. You can see the flowers over there, beautiful pink flowers, right? But the boy could not tell what they were, which kind of flowers they were. I ran out into the garden. Granny, I shouted, look at this picture. I found it in that box of old things. Whose picture is it? So out of curiosity, he just ran to his grandmother who was sitting there in the garden under the mango tree. He wanted to know more details about this picture. He wanted to know who is in the picture. So he told the grandmother that he found it in the box of old things. She took the photograph from my hand and we both stared at it for quite some time. The girl had long loose hair and she wore a long dress that nearly covered her ankles and sleeves that reached her wrists. In spite of all these heavy clothes, the girl appeared to be full of freedom and movement. She stood with her legs apart and her hands on her hips and she had a wide, almost devilish smile on her face. So when the boy rushed to his grandmother, the grandmother took the photograph from him and stared at it for some time. She closely observed the picture. Stared at it means looked at it for some time without moving her eyes. The girl had long loose hair. Now these lines describe about the girl in the picture. You can see you can have a look at the girl. Look at her hair. It's very long hair, right? And he has no, she has not tied it. It's loose. Look at the dress also she wears. It reached her anklets till here. And even the sleeve was full sleeve. And Look at the way how she stands. Her legs are kept apart. Her hands were kept on her hips. And she had a very devilish smile. So devilish smile means a wicked smile. It, it seems like she's a bit naughty, right? Even the way she stands. Always her body language speaks 
uh, speaks out the character of a person, right? So from this body language itself, we understand that a girl is somewhat a mischievous kind of girl, right? Yes, let's see now. Whose picture is it? I asked. So the boy is very much curious that he immediately wants to know whose picture it is. A little girl's, of course, said grandmother. Can't you tell? Yes, but did you know her? Oh yes, I knew her. But she was a wicked little girl and I shouldn't tell you about her. I'll tell you about the photograph. It was taken in our home many, many years ago. And that's a garden wall. And over the wall, there was a road leading to town. That girl used to sneak over the wall sometimes and visit the bazaar. She couldn't resist jelly bees. Do you like jelly bees? Yes. So the grandmother actually, she underst uh, She says that of course the picture is a, is a little girl's picture. See, they kept on asking each other whether they know the person knows about the picture or who is in the picture. But grandmother did not exactly say who is in the picture. But she says that she was a wicked little girl. Wicked little girl means she was a little mischievous girl. Wicked. Which is uh, uh, who is not wicked means a little evil, a evil kind of, not the evil. Here in this context, it means she is a naughty girl. And I shouldn't tell you about her. The grandmother hesitated to say more about her. Or she hesitated to say who is that little girl. But she was ready to say more about the photograph like when it was taken, from where it was taken, all these details. It was taken in our home many, many years ago. And see, the wall which is shown there, that's a garden wall. And over the wall, there was also a road leading to the town. The person could, if, if that person climbs a wall, he could reach the town. There was a road leading to the town. That girl used to sneak over the wall sometimes. Sneak over the wall means she used to go quietly on her foot without letting anyone know about it. She, quietly, she used to go quietly over the wall sometimes. Why? To visit the bazaar. Now why she wanted to visit the bazaar? Because she couldn't resist chili bees. She couldn't control herself from uh, eating chili bees. And the, mom, the grandmother asked the little boy whether he likes jelly bees. 